This is called virtual manufacturing. Ford employee Katie Glensky showing us how they wire up a worker with sensors. It's pretty cool in a dark room with just one light. And they use motion capture to see how they work on, in this case, a new Explorer. They can also put a virtual transmission into a virtual engine. It's all used to design workspaces that put the least stress on a worker's body. So it just is a tool to help us do a better job, and I love that it has the operator as the focus. What's really interesting is I look in these goggles, what I see is what you're seeing behind me. It's essentially a manufacturing floor. Of course, I'm in a laboratory right now, so they've created this all in a virtual world, and it's very interesting the first time you see something like this. The first time I experienced it, it was like stepping into Star Trek. Now look over the transmission and see if you can see that little stud. Be me out of here, because I had trouble doing a job that a worker may need to do dozens of times a day. But if you're a real experienced assembly line worker, this kind of thing can be a big help. It helps me to find so many problems that we have not found and to be able to correct these things without having to wait weeks and weeks. Virtual manufacturing has helped Ford reduce its on-the-job injury rate by 70% over the last dozen years. I'm AutoBeat reporter Jeff Gilbert.